Welcome to Backstage with Kennedy This little show will be your remedy From Toronto spanning across the sea Cool people, lots of laughs This is your favorite podcast Hello and welcome. My name is Kennedy from the Backstage with Kennedy podcast. I'm here with a, a really, really cool band, something that we've never really done on this podcast yet, but it's something I think I'm really excited about. So uh, we got a band by the name of Baba Oram, um, and we got some awesome people from the band here. We got Estelle, Coco, and Benji. Uh, super amped to have them on the uh, podcast. Uh, so let's get started here with how's the COVID situation in France right now? Um, I know it's pretty bad here. What, what's it like over there? Uh, it's a really hard time. We uh, here in France. Uh, we have seen uh, 30 lives cancelled uh, in the beginning uh, of the of the COVID. Uh, and we, our president, just talked mm-hmm. yesterday. Uh, and we will have, uh, I don't know, uh, Benji, uh, how we say the couvre-feu? Oh, we have a curfew. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The we have a curfew like at uh, 9 p.m. Uh, in the in uh, the big cities. Yeah. And uh, we so, played like uh, four jigs this this year, or five, I don't remember, instead of, yeah, 30, 30 something. <laughs> so, yeah, it was pretty bad. Absolutely. I, I know here it's um, here they, they just closed the bars at 11 and that's really the only major change right now. Which, for the economy, it's a good thing that they're staying open, but for the people and lives, it's just it's not good. You know what I mean? Like it's it's bad. It's bad. Yeah, we have we have to wear masks, masks everywhere at work uh, all day, every day. It's uh... <laughs> Very annoying, but it's uh, it's necessary, but it's uh, tiring. Absolutely. So, so you mentioned you did generally about 30 gigs there, Benji, uh, 30 gigs in a year. What is a show of yours like? What what What's to expect out of coming to one of your shows? Benji? Oh, uh, our shows is like we are all uh, we all have uh, pirates outfits uh, that's that w- that are all uh, handmade handmade sorry by the the wife of our captain we, who also is a uh, also was a band, mem- band member sorry and uh, we have all the pirate stuff going on uh, sea shanties and uh, you know we were just um, it's it very fun jigs uh, all around we make people dance and uh, jump around and uh, yeah it's very uh, very uh, happy but we also play some uh, dark songs it depends uh, also on the uh, audi- audience we have like uh, we can uh, adjust uh, how our set list uh, depending on the uh, on the people we, we are playing for <laughs> like uh, if there are a lot of kids we are going to play some more fun songs and uh, and so on yeah i i feel that so i i took a listen to your album and i was really impressed um I know I mentioned earlier that, uh, you know, with my Scottish background, um, I really like Celtic music. It's just like, it's almost in my veins. Um, <laughs> I really like the Celtic, um, like, folk stuff, but you also speed it up quite a bit. How good is it to have that, like, how important is it to have that little middle ground where, you know, not everything is one way and you are being diverse with your music? Uh uh this is a really good question we we don't have the answer uh precisely because uh this is uh, uh all, all songs are written by um by by uh the captain uh Mathieu Mathieu yeah. uh captain Barbe Drutz, uh we call him like that uh and he is uh, a little genius uh, i don't i, I can't for me he's a little genius he he can make us uh, go with uh, everything he touch. So he can touch some dark song, can touch some funny songs, but it's still with the same uh, same color. Mm-hmm. But his touch, but 
it's look like different and that's for it we can see uh, people of seven years old and people of sev 77 years old <laughs> just in front of us yeah so, we run like uh, what we do yeah metal heads and old people and kids and that's 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 fun it's, yeah. it's so nice to see everyone enjoying it Absolutely. I think that diversity is really important in success as a band, too, you know, because you're not getting bored of playing the same kind of stuff all the time, right? Yeah. 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 So um, for, for non-French speakers who listen to your music, um, can you give them a little bit of a explanation on, like, what you're singing about, what to expect, I guess, out of the lyrics? Because I know you do have the one lyric video, um, and that was a major, major help for me when listening to your music. <laughs> Um, but other than the lyric video, like what's the general idea consensus of like how you guys, uh, what do you sing about? It's a mix. Uh, it's a mixture of uh, true stories, uh, pirate legends and uh, just uh, straight city songs. You have uh, a song about uh, rum shortage. Uh, you have uh, the country pirate song, uh, which is uh, our next uh, music video, which is um, about pirates who, uh, who signed an amnesty and became become uh, farmers. But you also have a song about uh, David Jones, which is very dark, obviously. And uh, it's we have a, an or, um, Oriental song, a Arabic, Arabic song, song, which is about uh, a pirate that uh, escaped from the Mediterranean Sea and uh, and uh, roamed the, the desert. Uh, it's uh, it's very diverse. So uh, we are, we even have a song about Barbara itself. Like uh, with the chorus going uh, bar, bar, oh, um, uh, king in the sea, uh, like very silly, uh, very uh, ACDC like. So yeah, it's, like it's very diverse. Yeah. It's hard to say uh, about. It's hard to define, um, make a general uh, definition about uh, um, about the album because it's uh, it's very mm. diverse. Exactly. And, uh, but, but we try to um, to tell a lot of stories that uh, actually happened and um, before uh, every song, every every song. Uh, during jigs, we introduce actually the song, uh, describe the pirate, uh, which the song is about, if there is one, and uh, we also do it in English when we play in uh, international uh, jigs, Very so cool. uh, people uh, at least have a, a small understanding uh, about uh, what's going on in the song when we when we play it live. Very cool. Very cool. I like that. I like that. So um, th the album's releasing on October 30th. Um, Yes. Uh, you can find it anywhere. Is is it going to be on like your website? Where where can people find the music? Uh, we we have the chance uh, to work with uh, with uh, Mankin Vanity Records, mm -hmm. so uh, 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 an American label uh, who formed us. So uh, it will be available on his markets on our shop shop. Mar uh, 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 yes, on, on physical and online too, uh, on Deezer, uh, Apple Store, Bandcamp, uh, Bandcamp, Spotify, uh, Spotify, Spotify, yeah. yeah, digital version and uh, physical release, uh, yeah. Perfect, perfect. So Estelle, you might be able to answer this for me. So um, the uh, music scene in France. What is the like, the punk scene like, and what is the pirate punk metal scene like in France? Is it, is this a really big thing there, or is this uh, you guys are like the one off? Uh, there are two of them, but uh, pirate is not isn't very popular. But uh, Celtic the Celtic scene is pretty is pretty strong in France, especially in the northwest region, which is uh, near Brit the Britain Bretagne Britain, and uh, there are a lot of Celtic bands actually, but the uh, Pirate scene is a bit uh, limited, I think. There are a few ones, but uh, it's not very, very, uh, very uh, common. Absolutely. We have a lot of success in, in Germany. Yeah. Uh, in, in all uh, festival medieval. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, people uh, who like uh, medieval uh, love us because uh, we are dressed in pirate, so yeah. they like it. I, I know um, just, just from like friends of mine who have uh, traveled to Germany, I, I find they love like that, like dark metal, uh, they're, yes. like different, right? Um, like I have friends who are in like psychobilly bands and stuff like that, and they go over to Germany and it's like a whole nother world. <laughs> like, like Germany, oh. Germany loves it. Yeah. They do well here. 
we have a really, really great uh, metal band. Uh, yeah. I, I think uh, to Gojira, uh, we, which is new, known uh, everywhere in the world now. Uh, we have a really, really big stage, uh, metal stage on, on, in France. In France, we re yeah, really, are really the Hellfest, uh, the Hellfest too, which is uh, like the one yeah. of the biggest festivals, uh, yeah. well, in the world. Hellfest is awesome. But, yeah, but there the, is a very big community, a very big metal uh, in France, and um, and we 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 have seen that metal and uh, viking pirates uh, historical uh, uh, um, uh, aficionados <laughs> uh, it, it's just one world because um, metal people love history in the, um, and love uh, love viking love pirates and they they are kids inside Uh, I I think so. so they, li they like to dress uh, I mean, Viking or private or, or to see something different. And so we see a uh, lot of people with a long, long barb uh, <laughs> in our events. <laughs> how how tough is it as a band to get everybody together? Because you have quite a few members in the band. How tough is it to get everybody all in one place at one time to practice or do gigs? We manage to, uh, yeah, yeah, we manage to practice once a week, actually. Wow, that's that's very impressive. We and drive we a are... lot. Uh, we drive a lot. Some some people drive uh, two hours to get here, but we want to be uh, as as uh, as uh, professional as possible. We want so we practice a lot, and uh, we try to make room. Uh, some of us, uh, including me, have actually have jobs, but uh, we try to make room absolutely for the band because we believe in uh, we believe in it. We want to 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 be big, so we we sacrifice sacrifice a lot of our time and. Uh, And then I'll to do it. <laughs> But we are family. Uh, we 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 know each other a lot. We are friends, family, and so uh, we we get united mm -hmm. between us, and we take care yeah. about each other. It's not just music. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah, a brotherhood. It's a brotherhood, yeah. a family. Yeah, we really we really get along well, and the the. the We, we'd rather have a, um, a musician that isn't maybe the best at his instrument, but uh, that we get along with, that shares yeah. the same spirit as us. It's very, very important for, important for us. I, I, really, I really like that idea. You can, you can teach somebody how to play an instrument better, but you can't teach somebody how to be a good person any better. I, I mean, you, yeah. you can, but it's a little bit tougher. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's hard. Genuine kindness is a whole nother thing. <laughs> very, very hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So who does your, um, you said that you do dress up uh, for obviously music videos for uh, shows. Um, who does, uh, who does the like outfits that you wear on stage and such? Uh, je pas là. Uh, he, uh, he demand, uh, sorry, I translate for, for them. Uh, he demand qui fait les costumes. Uh, it's uh, Sonia, which is uh, who is uh, the um, captain, uh, the, so the, our captain's wife, and she played, uh, she plays the hurdy gurdy on the album, and okay. uh, she's actually, uh, um, she, she's she makes, uh, she made all the costumes. She's the, a sewer. I think that's the word sewer. I'm not sure. She sews the costume. Oh, oh, the, so, so, so we're here. So we're here. Yeah. So, oh yeah, yeah. So so yeah, she made it, she made them all uh, by hand. Uh, we uh, only the the jewelry and the boots uh, are uh, are bought, but the rest is uh, handmade. That's that's yeah. incredible. I, I saw some of the uh, the uniforms that you wear on stage, and they're they're very very impressive. Yeah, we love them. She made all the coats and stuff. She she spends the hours and days and nights on them, and they all look amazing. And we we are so grateful to her for that. <laughs> So, so because um, music venues are, are struggling so much uh, nowadays because of all the, the coronavirus and stuff, I like to, on my podcast, highlight a venue um, that everybody should go to. So, and, and a story that you have from that venue. So what is a venue or a, like a facility that you've played at that you really um, had a great time at? And explain the story, I guess. Euh, euh, vous avez compris? Il demande, 
il demande un, une, un concert ou quelque chose où on a, avec le Covid, il veut, il veut, euh, sorry, I'm, I'm translating again. <rire> il veut mettre en valeur des endroits où on peut jouer, surtout en ce moment où c'est compliqué, donc il cherche des endroits, il demande s'il y a des endroits vraiment où on conseille aux gens d'aller voir, d'aller au concert ou de jouer, quoi. It's very complicated actually. Uh, we, we played uh, our last concert of the year, our last show, uh, next Sunday, but it was last Sunday. Last Sunday. But <laughs> we we have been very lucky because uh, it was it was possible. <laughs> it was possible, but not now anymore. Yeah. Uh, after, yeah, no, after, after, yes, after the crisis, uh, we we would like uh, everyone to go in little places we which were the most in, impacted by the by the by the crisis. Uh, so. Um, Uh, I, I won't tell you to go to the Zenith of Toulouse or, or to the Bataclan or to the Olympia or even if that's a really, really good, uh, good, um, good rooms, but uh, no, no rooms, good, uh, place. good places. But I, I think we have to, we have to go in little places where we, we yeah. have, we, we don't, we don't have any money or they don't pay them. Uh, since years, and now there is a, a, a crisis, a very, very hard crisis for, for, for them. We have to help them, we have to help little bands like us. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, we don't know how will be the future, yep. but uh, we, we still believe. <laughs> yeah, a lot, of a lot of bars and small venues are going to close, uh, are closing, closed, or are going to close, of course. So, We people must support them as much as they can, why they can, but it's becoming harder and harder, obviously. Absolutely. So, so Coco, what's your, if you could pick one venue in um, in Toulouse, what's your favorite venue uh, that you have played at? Uh, that, that everyone must go to. So, like, like if I were to say, come see you guys, what would be the venue that you would say this is the one you got to go to? Mm. I will, Toulouse, I don't know. I, I, I will be, I will be a little bit uh, selfish because I will recommend uh, a place we are working with. <laughs> uh, Go I ahead. Suggest, uh, I suggest Lusine a music, uh, the music uh, factory, uh, which is a uh, an old factory, a uh, remade, uh, remade uh, la, um, as a place to play music um, in studios or on stage. So mm -hmm. a good place to train uh, if you want to train or if you want to to play in front of uh, 500 people uh, or 450, 450. Um, that's a really good remember for me because uh, the public is still really, really warm. Uh, yeah. And uh, they have really good energy, uh, a good stage. Uh, we have the place that was a little bit more... A little bit shorter um, before, but now the stage is bigger. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So, so yes, I, I recommend to go to play and to see uh, live in uh, the music factory, uh, Luzina Music at Toulouse. Perfect, perfect. And there is a bar. <laughs> there is a bar. In a really good <laughs> Very important. Very uh, important. Yes, and Rome. Very important. And a really good team. <laughs> okay awesome to hear awesome well I, i like to keep these nice and short guys uh i know you're busy uh, i don't want to take up too much of your time but i appreciate you coming on the podcast um for all the viewers uh, i really hope that you go check out this band um i'm going to post the link in my bios of the video so that you can uh take a look and uh, really dive into their music uh yeah i really appreciate you guys coming on thank you very much and i know it's late there Thank you. That was a pleasure. Thank That you. was a real pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Bye. Yeah.